Hi, I'm uh, Professor David Neville um, at Elon University. I just wanted to quickly make a video of the uh, digital game-based learning environment I made for uh, teaching German. Anyway, this is the start page with music in the background. Um, I can have four buttons here. Uh, one is for instructions. I click on that and I have the basic instructions on how to play the game, uh, keyboard, uh, keystroke and mouse activity to move the character around in the game. Um, go back here, I have the uh, about the game, a little bit of bragging rights here, uh, how I created the game, how I'm releasing the game. Um, and then also, no, I have the quit button, I go to play right here. Now this is the starting of the game. Uh, this is all in German right here, talking about uh, getting the player a little bit of background information about the city, Bad Oberdinkelheim. Uh, the fact that they're uh, sinking in trash, paper, and uh, recyclable glass. They just don't seem to be able to throw the objects away. So what can you do to make the city a little bit better? You have to uh, help them out and throw away the items and recycle that which needs to be recycled. So uh, with that in mind, press on the play button right here and there we go, the game is loaded. We start off with about 20 euro, 75 pennies. Uh, the Gesundheit or health is at 100. Uh, I actually, I have uh, Punkt on Aufgaben, so points and uh, remaining tasks. Uh, in the game there's actually going to be 13 tasks that the player has to perform, but for the sake of this uh, demonstration I just limited it to one. Uh, that way the uh, the uh, game will uh, finish quickly and I'll get to the final screen in a reasonable amount of time. So what do I have in the game? I have a, a tower, I have all the finished models right here, I have a, uh, a fountain, I have the worker entrance uh, to the museum. The player needs to get into the museum but before he or she can do that they have to sort of clean up the town square. There's a lot of bottles laying around. There's a uh, museum exhibits, uh, brief uh, post box, the uh, hours of operation for the museum. So essentially everything that you would find in a real German space, except I've designed this space, this uh, simulated environment, to lead the player along a course of activity. So um, what they'll have to do is they'll have to identify a bottle. This is a green glass flasche. These are these are flasche recycling. So they have to pick up this bottle and recycle it. So um, now this little thing, uh, the Nachrichten, the message, werfen Sie die Flasche jetzt in einen grünen Glas container ein. So throw away the bottle. They recycle the bottle in a green glass container. Stays on the screen for 10 seconds. Hopefully giving you enough time for the player to read and understand what needs to be done. Of course, this is all going to be reinforced with pre-game classroom activity and homework assignments. So this is actually just a way to reinforce what the player is learning in the classroom and through the homework. So uh, we have the brown glass, we have the green glass container right here, and we have the clear glass. So ideally what you want to do is you'll uh, have the bottle, take it and throw it into the appropriate container. Uh, the little triangle thing you see on the screen is a German right away sign uh, for street traffic. So that lets the player know that they're doing something right. If, for instance, they take a, uh, let's get some brown bottle right here, pick this one up, and if I were to take this brown bottle, even though at the bottom of the screen it tells me and I need to throw it away into a uh, brown glass container, if I accidentally throw it away into the, let's do it to the clear glass, I get a buzzer and then the uh, no entrance uh, sign or wrong way sign. So essentially, a uh, player is going to have to locate different items. I also have some trash here that needs to get picked up. Uh, if I go over here, we have a, uh, a wrapper for a döner, which is a very tasty Turkish uh, dish that you get in Germany. Pick that up and uh, go over to the trash can and throw it away. So, um, a lot of the most of the instruction on the bottom of the screen, I've built in two-way prepositions uh, in German. Uh, it takes either an accusative or a dative case. So I'm trying to associate grammar with uh, 
directed player activity to reinforce grammar concepts, but also to situate these grammar concepts within a real world or a simulated real world space. Um, I have also have some uh, little uh, Easter eggs, for instance, if a player actually makes it all the way around to here, this is a 50 euro note, bank note, pick it up and I get I go from 2075 up to 7075. So uh, I can make a little bit of money. Now I've gone down to 84 points on my health. Um, ideally, as I build the game, what I like to do is have the player be able to purchase food items using money that they earn or find in the game. Right now I have a first aid kit, which is built on, uh, looks like one that I, I've seen in several places in Germany and uh, I found models of it on the internet. So pick this up and they get uh, 15 extra points. So um, on the other hand, they could also lose points by doing stupid things. For instance, uh, not reading signs. Zutritt nur für Mitarbeiter, entrance only for workers of the museum. If I open that door, uh, uh, I lost some points. Um, and I close the door again. I have to wait for 10 seconds till the screen. There we go. I close it. Or if I decide to do something stupid like jump into the fountain, then the police come and I lose some money. So quickly get out. So anyway, um, that's the point of the game. Uh, it's a prototype. I'll be testing it out next month, hopefully. Right now i got to make some instructional materials. The idea is that the player could associate activity in a simulated real-world German context while reinforcing grammar and uh, and uh, so say social cultural norms. Let me pick this bottle up and throw one more away and then we'll go into the museum. So that was a, what, it was a green glass I think. Yep, that was right. Okay, so let's walk over to the museum door. I have enough, uh, I've completed all the assignments that I need to do and uh, here we go. Now the we have on the screen we have the total money earned, we have the remaining health points and the points. So I'm trying to, in a way, by collecting this data, see how players perform in this environment as a, uh, a ability or a, as a way to uh, collect assessment data. So um, anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll be testing this out in about a month's time or so. Uh, I'll be working right now to get some of the instructional materials built, plus some IRB approval, Institutional Review Board, to make sure that I don't harm my students while uh, performing this experiment. And um, I will post my results up here later. So anyway, that's the Digibon project.